Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to the channel where the FM beta has started slightly earlier than we were expecting. Uh, they've released it a little bit early just to give us an extra weekend, apparently. Uh, that was their reasoning. They thought, oh, give, it, you know, give us a little bit more time with the beta, see what we can do with it. Yeah, so that's essentially changed my entire plans. I was planning on recording and releasing a video just explaining what I was planning to do in the upcoming uh, year in terms of Football Manager. That's not happening now because the actual beta's dropped already and I might as well get started on that now. Now the choice for the beta is Spanish, it's Atletico Madrid. There is a reason why I've gone to Spain for the beta period and that will become slightly more clearer as time goes on. Um, just on this main page screen I do want to actually very briefly just chat about the things that I am still planning to do in terms of the rest of the cycle of FM20 uh, just because that video now lo no longer exists because I would have released it today. Anyway, so in terms of the main save, I am going down the English pyramid slightly, and I actually am going to pick up a tier six team. Uh, I don't want to go too far down the pyramid, just for exactly the same reasons why I didn't go too far down with the Bradford uh, situation. It's about just managing the time. I, I'm Once again, even though my schedule is a little bit freer than it is there, even though it's a little bit freer than it was when I was doing the Bradford uh, stuff. I don't want to overcommit to a team that's so far down the league. So I think Tier 6 is probably definitely safe enough for me to be able to get them to some sort of glory before F120 is over. If I finish it a little bit early, that's fine. We can pick up another short one maybe at the end. Who knows? Maybe we, maybe we can still do something. I don't want to go too far down. I certainly want to be able to enjoy some success. And honestly, if I don't if I don't go too far down, that means we can, you know, try and get the Premier League title, and then maybe push for say Champions League or what have you, uh, depending on how we feel on that whole situation. Now, in terms of Twitch, now there's not going to be any FM twenty beta on Twitch because no real point. Miles away for the main game to come out in a couple of weeks, but. So Twitch will be a little bit quiet on that front, which is probably a bit of good news because there are a couple of games dropping in the meantime anyway. I think actually the main contender for Twitch actually comes out the same day annoyingly as FM20 releases properly, and that's, of course, Pokemon, if anyone knows me from the old days of the channel. The videos are still there in the playlist, but they're no longer there in the, just the general videos tab. But that's where my channel started. So, But Planet Zoo comes out next week, which is probably another big one I'm planning to stick on to Twitch for the most part. Maybe maybe just weekends, more sort of the chill weekend stuff. But they probably won't affect actual FM that much. That kind of stuff, it'll probably still stick there on the weekends. I kind of avoid the streaming for the manager of the week. Well, there's a lot of real football going on, and that I think, I think that kind of draws a few people away in general. So I don't, I don't like people missing out on any of the journey when it comes to football manager on Twitch. So I try to avoid... Streaming on the weekends because it seems that people are occupied with real people at that point. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, but yes, the main save uh, on Twitch uh, on YouTube, uh, I will announce it now. It's going to be York, um, sticking local again, uh, just because. Why not? Let's stick another. Let's, why not stick another Yorkshire team higher up the tables? So and why not? You know, the Yorkshire team. You, you would actually technically say because it's there in the title, Yorkshire, York. Why do they not have a good football club? Well, a high a high level football club. So it's why partially why it's partially why I'm enjoying Lincoln's rise through the table a little bit, although thank you for losing Danny Cowley now. Uh, but yes, it's partially why I'm enjoying having Lincoln fly higher up because now we've got a flagship Lincolnshire team again. Sidebar there a little bit. Yes, and in terms of Twitch, the plan is to essentially do what I'm informally calling the Noisy Neighbor series. I want to develop clubs in cities that don't really have a local a big local derby so i'm hoping i'm not completely off the mark on these ones i'm but my main plan first of all is paris fc uh to of course challenge psg so that's the whole plan i'm planning to sort of pick up teams in cities that don't really have a major rival uh in in higher tiers it allows me to pick sort of teams in sort of maybe sort of first or second tiers and then develop them because Twitch you can sort of you get the full stories you get the full story with Twitch so it's slightly less sporadic and get more invested in shorter journeys that shorter journeys if that makes sense so that's the plan for that we're five minutes into this video already so let's get on with Madrid now Madrid of course Atletico Madrid I should mention again Atletico Madrid of course a team that have enjoyed recent uh, surge in form 
In a way, the choice of Atletico Madrid was very similar to my Burnley Twitch save, in in the sense that it's sort of a team that are well, not I mean, obviously Burnley slightly less successful than Atletico Madrid, but they did get into Europe, of course. It's a similar situation. It's it's a club that's had a, enjoyed an upsurge with a manager over a long period of time. And obviously, like I say, Atletico Madrid have enjoyed slightly more success than Burnley have, but. Simeone has been there for quite a while. They have won one league title in that time, 2014, and they've come second twice in a row the last two years. So I thought this was a good opportunity uh, to take over and see if we can push them back up that final step, back to the title, and maybe even some Champions League glory in in, in the same run. I know they've had a few, I think, it's, I think they've had a few Europa Leagues. I'm not sure if they've won a Champions League or not in this time so let's get on with this just while this is doing the preliminary save i will just mention of course because this is in the spanish league it's not one of the leagues that's licensed under football manager there's no proper uh icons or what have you for this it's any of the beach i'm not bo bothering with that um so just for the sake of the video i'm not doing icon pack or anything like that but when it comes to the main saves i will obviously make sure i've got all that sorted why am i having to do I have to do in that deduction or can I just ignore it? I'm assuming the ta the tactics look very similar, so I don't think I'm going to bother with that one. Club vision is the big new one. So maintain self-sustainability. It doesn't really have anything attached to it, but self-sustainable. Um, I think I, I, I kind of get the gist, but that could do with a little bit more explanation what that means. Um, I think it basically just means it you know, sustains itself through sales of uh, sales of players and um rewards and rewards you know what i mean money through competitions and other other revenue sources basically making sure that we can sustain ourselves we don't have to survive by continually pumping money into the club from a chairman so yeah work within way budget sign young players to develop for profit which is kind of a slightly weird choice for um you know a team that's challenging for titles and what have you continue to aim to win the first division Continue reaching the latter stages of the Champions Cup. So this is basically just saying, be in the mix for both of these. First division, win the first division. That's the minimum expectation. So why has that just checked? Why have they got that doubled up? That's slightly confusing. They're not bothered about, about winning the Super Cup and winning the, getting the quarterfinal is the minimum requirement. And they are reserving judgment. That because that's not happened. And then it's just exactly the same for the next four years. So this isn't a, obviously a big, good example for the five-year vision because we're already at the top end. So... I'm sure we'll see that slightly better when it comes to the, the you know the, the main saves. Oh, I actually have to do a accept that. Okay. Oh, so there's no actual sort of chairman meeting anymore, which is actually I kind of appreciate that because it's a little bit annoying. I might just see if there's any other versions of the um skin in a, in a, in a short while, but just for this main first one, you may have to deal with the brightness. I do apologize on the first part. Now, of course, we have had some transfer stuff already i haven't blocked out the original transfer window so that's why i'm releasing this on the friday because i do want you guys to have your input on this squad which i will just go on everything in slightly different places because it's not in the order i have it in in normal but so what are the purple ones is that a new color is that ones that are the purple is now oh, okay i do like i do like the fact that it's now a completely different color um Players loaned in and players loaned out used to both be blue, but different sort of. You know, it used to be bright. You know, this it used to be this color for incoming, and then it used to be sort of a faded blue for ones that were going out. I do like the fact that now the outbound ones are completely a different color, which is nice. Keeping this. Why does that name ring a bell? Why have I come across? I think I feel like I've come across that player in a previous save at some point. Obviously, they have got Morata and Costa, Chelsea rejects United apparently now. Um, how Felix is the big one. Signed for a lot of money, and on a lot of money per year for a 19-year-old, a 16-year-old, 160k threw me off. So, this squad page is very much similar. Obviously, injured players in all this. And Oblak, the big man in goal. Uh, well, actually, probably regarded as one of the best goalies in the world. So, what have we got? Felipe Savic, Jose Jimenez, I believe is captain. Amoso, um... It's weird actually seeing all these names because I've actually got re I've actually really got into Ultimate Team this year on FIFA. I've never really done that before, so I'm sort of already pre 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 rating some people on the basis of that, which is probably not fair because they might be slightly different on here in terms of what they're good at. I mean, Hermoso is regarded as one of the faster 
defenders in all that. So it's probably better to actually. I'm slightly intrigued to know what his physicals are like. He fifth fourteen pace is not um, not drastically different to other people, but he is significantly faster than on the players on FIFA. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for managers. So I do go to team report. I feel like it used to be called squad report, and it's slightly confused me. Um, uh, my oh yes, yeah, so we'll set up the tactic first. We'll set up the tactic first. I will go for my preferred tactic, which is not available here. Um, that basically, I will go for my preferred tactic in the beta. Is no point faffing around. I will go preferred. So ah right there we are. So our black option best. Now this probably would be Vasalco, but we do have Trippier and we do have this Santiago Arias who is fast but not... oh it's slightly confusing because I think the cutoff 16 I will change that to 15 uh, by the next video but passing 14 tackling decent, good crossing actually, good forward ability on Arias. I think Trippier for now I think Arias would probably Oh, he's actually regarded as a left back at most, though. Curious. Um, now Jimenez and Felipe. Savage isn't far off either, which is good. Looks like we might be slightly squad lacking in the uh, back of midfield. Uh, this might be slightly curious for him because I think he might be more right. Well, he's right mid on other games, but I don't know what he passes here. He passes all three and centre mid. Now, there's no. Particular, well, actually, let me just stick this as deep lying support and box to box because that's what I like to have that as. Um, so let's get those picked as a result of that. So, deep lying, you are full on deep lying, Koke, okay, so you are do have a place in this team. Thomas Partey, Hector Herrera do have full, what's the word? I know you say efficiency, full. Enjoyment of that particular role. Koke is not too bad in that particular version either, and neither is Marcos Lorente. Let's have a look. Tackling to work. It's all about getting up and down the pitch, really, box to box. So, stamina, good natural fitness, good tackling, and vision's not great, but, well, vision's not in insanely great. And to be honest, these two seem to be very similar players. Uh, that's just very, very all rounded. Yeah, I might have to change. I definitely need to change that to 15 to see what, what really stands out. I think we're going to go there for that one for the time being. Right midfielder. This could be where we have to look into. Kind of depends what's being regarded. Yeah, so there's a lot of 15s on there which aren't being highlighted right now. Uh, dribbling 15. 15. I think he's actually marginally better. On first glances. So you look to the... Oh, he's actually a. Uh, oh, this is the uh, AM role. Okay, this is the AM. This is the central midfield role. Uh, Lamar is regarded as better than Felix overall, but we're going to put Felix in because he's the young lad and probably has that ability, and he can play left a lot better. So that worked out quite nicely for us. And then, well, we've got Morata and Costa, haven't we, for this? So I feel like Morata is, despite despite the finishing stat, does does quite well on... Well, he did quite well on my Burnley save, annoyingly. He was quite a goal machine for some reason for Chelsea in that Burnley save. So, despite the finishing composure stats. So, we'll run with Morata, but we may have to obviously look into that role if finishing is sort of focused on a little bit more than it was last year. Because he was banging in 20-plus goals a season for Chelsea on that Burnley save, and he really shouldn't have been. So... That looks like it's the team of the first point, but let's actually have a quick look at the team report and squad depth and all that jazz. Now it's in. Now it should have the right formation for us. No, it doesn't. Actually, where's the... I feel like we're missing a page when it comes to this. I feel like there was a different version of this, which was slightly clearer in terms of positions and roles. Like a more horizontal version. I I don't, I'm going complete. I don't know if I'm going completely crazy. I swear there was another page, um, when it came to squad depth, which was worked in a similar manner to squad depth, but it sort of showed you a little bit less having to scroll what's going on here. But anyway, never mind. Um, it might be a way of orientating this page, which I'm not. I can't quite see for some reason, but. 
anyway, uh, uh, let's sort of do all of this. So, in terms of why is it not showing? I don't know why it's not showing the strikers, the the um, lone players, even with having lone players on. So, uh, uh, okay, that might be that might be a bug, but never mind. Uh, one two goalies. We might that there might be one in the B team that might be all right. I will look into that. Right back definitely seems okay. We've got three of those, and of course our old friend Vasalko involved in all that. Uh, centre back. I think centre back we could we could probably definitely do with a fourth centre back, or at the very least a backup centre back, or a good left back. One of the two, just because obviously one of the extra centre backs is also the left back. So definitely. One of these two, either an extra one here or an extra one here, is probably going to be the, one of the main targets here. Uh, I think midfield, these two roles, plenty of, plenty of these roles, not not too not too much issue there. Uh, Vitolo is regarded as four star left mid, even though he didn't appear on the squad page as that high, which is weird. But we do have a little bit of flexibility up here, seemingly. Uh, Coria Vitolo. Vitola does look like he's a good solid winger, at the very least winger sub for either side, because he can come in and play either side by the looks of things fairly easily. But again, I'm not overawed by the depth in this, because when you've got the same player as the backup in all the positions, it's kind of, yeah, same with this, obviously, same situation with the middle. You've got, obviously, you've got Hal Felix, and then the backup to him is Lamar, who is our first choice left winger. At this point, so or at the very least would be back up to either of these, depending on how you want to play Vitolo and Lamar in this situation. Uh, this is obviously less problematic because it's not showing Morata, so you do have Morata and Costa available. But again, I don't know what how well Costa is regarded here. Uh, he is regarded with better, better finishing, although 20 aggression, which yeah, all right, fair enough. Um, so Maybe Costa is probably technically the better star with the better finishing. Who knows? In that sense, we do have two there. I wouldn't be against maybe getting another player in here. And I certainly wouldn't be against getting a, well, particularly a right mid, I think, actually. Because in terms of overall star rating, that's where the lacking, that's where it's slightly lacking is on this side. Uh, we could do with a proper banging right uh, right winger. And definitely a, definitely a left back. I mean, left and right back was a problem last year in general. There weren't very many excellent fullbacks last year, so I don't know if that's changed at all this year. I'm not sure if maybe they've that was a slight oversight in terms of potential ability and what have you last year. But there was very few players that developed into high stars in, in terms of left and right back in last year's game. So we'll see what goes on there, and that's just a good point as well, potential ability. Real quick in terms of that now. It looks like there is a player out on loan, but probably only going to play a season, maybe two... Now, with the fact it's dropped a little bit early, we might play two seasons of this beta. Um, yeah, right back obviously doesn't have a lot of developing. It's three sort of slightly less youthful players in that sense. Yeah, Felix obviously overtakes that one on this side. And left wing looks absolutely fine. But again, it's that same problematic. Like I said it's before, it's, it's the same problem. They might have room to develop, but there might be four of them. But one of them is the right winger. One of them is the central attacking midfielder, and then there's two options. Basically, if you lose Vitolo, for instance, you've then got no replacement wingers. So, definitely some some extra players across here, and then some extra player for either of these two roles, I would say. Either left-back or centre-back, and then that obviously frees up to allow Hermoso to play left-back if you get a centre-back, or vice versa if you do it the other way around. So, I think we're okay... I think we're okay here. We just need an extra extra man. And then here we might need two, realistically. We might need a sort of... I think we need an out-and-out back up to Felix and an out-and-out back out to Coria and then have Vitolo and Lamar fight for this left-hand side, for instance. So, yeah, because if you have an injury to any of these three players, then we've got an issue. There's no further backups once that player... Once the next replacement steps in, there's no fifth choice. Essentially, there's no second option there. 
So we do need a player here and we do need a player there. And that's why I've started that's why I'm releasing this video today. So we've got the weekend to get some feedback. I'm not gonna play the game till Monday. So whatever your suggestions are in terms of fixing this, basically, I will listen to it. So thank you for joining me here. I do hope you'll enjoy this beta series and the series going ahead. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Until next time, you're out.